In this video, we're going to look at two functions that are linearly independent, but whose Wronskian is zero. So we have two functions, y1 is x squared, and y2 is x times the absolute value of x. Part A is asking if they're linearly independent, and part B is asking us to compute the Wronskian. Let's go ahead and do part A first. So solution to A. Well, the answer is yes, but why? What we'll do is just look at the graphs of each of these functions. So this will be the graph of x squared. This is a parabola. So it looks something like this. So y1 is equal to x squared. Now let's take a look at the graph of x times the absolute value of x. Before we do that, recall that the absolute value of x is equal to x if x is greater than or equal to 0. And it's equal to the opposite of x if x is less than 0. So in our case, y2 is equal to x times the absolute value of x. So this is a piecewise function. So it's x times x if x is greater than or equal to 0. And it's x times the opposite of x if x is less than 0. All right, just using the definition and multiplying the pieces by x. So we have that y2 is equal to x squared if x is greater than or equal to 0 and the opposite of x squared if x is less than 0. So using this information, we can actually graph y2. So there's the y-axis and there's the x-axis. And to graph y2, we'll just do it one piece at a time. So if x is greater than or equal to 0, it's a parabola. So it looks like this. And if x is less than 0, it's an upside-down parabola. So it looks like this. So this is x squared. This is negative x squared. And together, they form the graph of y2, which is equal to x times the absolute value of x. So we can see from the graph that these functions are not multiples of each other. In other words, I can't multiply x squared by a number to arrive at this function. So therefore, they are linearly independent. Remember, two functions are linearly dependent if they are multiples of each other. In this case, there's no number that you can multiply this guy by in order to get this graph. So that takes care of part A. Let's go ahead and do part B. Part B wants the Wronskian. So recall the Wronskian is equal to the determinant of y1, y1 prime, and then y2, y2 prime. So what we'll do is we'll take cases. First, let's look at the case if x is greater than or equal to 0. So if x is greater than or equal to 0, well, we know that y1 is always equal to x squared. And so the derivative of y1 is 2x. So that part, this doesn't have any bearing on this. Now, if x is greater than or equal to 0, y2, well, using the first piece, y2 is equal to x squared. And so the derivative of y2 is also 2x. So when we look at the Wronskian, we get the determinant of, well, let's see, y1 is x squared, and y1 prime was 2x. And then y2 is x squared, and y2 prime is 2x. Then you just take the determinant, so x squared times 2x is 2x cubed, minus, and then x squared times 2x is 2x cubed. So we end up with 0. Now we'll do the other piece. So if x is less than 0, well, y1 doesn't change. So I won't bother writing it down again. y1 is the same. It's always x squared, so the derivative is 2x. However, in this case, y2, we said that was negative x squared. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll scroll up. Here it is. If x is less than 0, y2 is negative x squared. So y2 prime is negative 2x. So now we'll look at the Wronskian. We have y1, which is x squared, y1 prime, which is 2x. y2, in this case, is negative x squared, and y2 prime is negative 2x. So taking the determinant, we get this times this. That's going to be negative 2x cubed minus, and then we do it again, so negative 2x cubed. So that's equal to negative 2x cubed plus 2x cubed. And so we end up with 0. So we have a, two functions which are linearly independent, 
but whose Ronskian is zero. So um, I hope that makes sense. I think this example, I'm not positive, but I think this example is due to, I don't know if I can spell it, I should be able to P, oh no, I think I spelled it right, uh, spelling, <laughs> and I think the date was 1889, but I'm not sure. So I didn't come up with this example, uh, I believe this guy did, so hopefully that helps.